day four. Uh, with the warm up, it's going to be same. It's going to start off the same way that we did the first day, except we've changed it up a little bit now. So again, we'll start out with five walkouts with a push up. Then we're going to do a bulldog sequence. I'll explain the bulldog sequence to you. And then we're going to do 10 air squats. We've been doing a lot of squats. Squats, squats. are a fundamental movement within all of fitness. If you want to be a bodybuilder, you do a lot of squats to get big, but squats also uses a whole bunch of different mechanics, which we do need um, to become better as an athlete. If you want to be that. So we start with the walkouts again, just leaning back, walking it out, doing a push up, coming up again, feeling it all in the hamstrings. Make sure that it's tight so that we just start loosening it up. If that's too difficult, we'll still walk it out. We'll go onto our knees, do a push up, go back onto our feet, and then walk it out again. For the bulldog sequence. It does look funny, but I promise you it's very good. It's very good for your hip flexors, your glutes, um, opening up your legs, and then just using it for the workout. Uh, it's one of the best warm ups I've found. For most of the workouts that that you can do so i highly recommend it so we'll create a sequence you can create your own one but if you want you can follow me we're going to start in a dog position as a dog would try and mark its territory you lift your leg and just bring it back down up down do 12 of those once you've done that we'll do 10 we go out and all the way back try and keep a strong solid position pointing your toes out then you come back in and back down and then you'll do 12 just straight out you will feel this in your glutes but it's a very great glute and hip flexor warm-up and um, it opens it up for the movement once you've done it on one side you do it on the other side so just 12 and then 10 just out and then 12 out again squeeze with the glutes feel it in the glutes i can't reiterate that enough and then we are going to do uh, 10 nice and simple air squats, slowly controlled down and up, controlled down. Up. Make sure that when we do the squat, we hinge out with our hips before going down with our knees. Otherwise, we're not going to get in a strong squat position. Also, make sure we're pushing our knees a little bit out and not letting them cave in. So out with the hips and then start bending the legs and driving up. Three. Now for day four's workout, we're going to start with uh, 10 burpees, 15 air squats, 5 push-ups and 20 mountain climbs. We're going to do this three times with no rest in between. The reason why we're doing this is to try and spike our heart rate, get our breathing up. It is difficult but it's a cardiovascular workout without running really uh, because we can't be going running out in the streets and whatnot. So we've just got to do it here, try and keep it very stationary. So again, just like we did it um, on day one, a burpee, chest down, jump up and up, down again, up and up, do that 15 times. Then we do 50, 10, 10 times, then we do that 15 air squats, one, two, three, until 15, five push-ups, one, two, or if you can't do a full push-up, you do a ladies push-up, one, two, up until five. The goal of that is by the end we want to be doing our push-ups and then straight into mountain climbers. So from the push-up into mountain climbers, driving out to the knee. So 20 of those as fast as we can. As soon as it's done, we get up and do a burpee again. 10 of those, 15 air squats, 10 push-ups, and then... 20 mountain climbs. We do that three times, then we rest for five minutes. One. The importance of the five minute rest is so that our heart rate can come down, our breathing can calm down. So we spiked our heart rate, we let it rest, and then we go again. This is how you build fitness. You want to be, you know that you're very fit. If you can do something that's quite a lot of work, recover quickly, and then go again. Um, and so the more that we practice it, the fitter we'll get, along with adding the movement so it teaches us to move, not just give us couch lock, especially within the next 21 days, I can't reiterate um, anymore how important it is just to make sure that we keep moving, especially because we're stuck in our own homes. There's not really much more we can do. After we've done 
after five minutes rest, we're going to go into the second portion of the workout, which is 20 jumping jacks, nice and quick jumping jacks, into 20 lunges, one, two, three, four, 20 of those, straight into 10 V-ups, the V-ups are very similar to the hollow rocks, so we go up like this, if that is too difficult, you can bend your knees and bring your arms here and you just go out and in, out and in. If that is too difficult, you can put your legs close together like this, put your hands on your shoulders and you just do nice sit-ups. You can actually go back and touch your toes, back and touch your toes if you want. It does make it a little bit easier. And then straight into high knee raises. So you put your hands nice and up and as fast as you can, high knee raises. Just gotta go 30 of those. So it will be nice and quickly, 20 jumping jacks, 20 lunges, 10 V-ups. And then straight into the high knee raises. Three rounds of that, and then the workout's done. This is a very difficult workout. It will get your heart rate up. Uh, a lot of you probably won't want to do it, but in my mind, this is one of the most important. It helps you get fit. It helps your lungs keep going as well. We need to be taking care of our lungs, especially now during quarantine, making sure that we're looking after ourselves, being healthy, but being fit as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that.